Hello and welcome to Darius Comic School and today we'll take a look at a one page comic. So what is a one page comic and why you should do it? Before you skip this video, um, it is like going to the gym and building a habit. So when you're writing a one page comic like this one, it's not that difficult you can have fun you can try out your drawings you can draw digitally you can sketch them up so it takes a lot of pressure so you don't go from one page comic to to i mean like something like this you take your time you build it up as you can see I started doing one page comics, then four page comics, then eight page comics right here, and then 22 pages. And then from there you can go 22 pages and make a hundred, and then you have a graphic novel. And once you've built the habit of going from here to here, to here, to here, or a web comic in between, where you post one or two pages a week when you have the build up confidence and skill then you're good to go before we start uh let me show you wait a second where is it if you wanna have problems <laughs> no wait where is it somewhere there was my indiegogo did i close it off ah here it is so if you want to support me on patreon check out my patreon in the link if you want to fund the last pickup artists there's uh, 45 days left and no one backed it yet but i'm filling up the pages and bringing out the videos this summer so don't you worry um if you want to check out my homepage and my shop do that as well and if you want to read my comics some of them are for free here on tapas so let's get into the video one page comics um i was trying to make a great graphic novel when i was starting out but um yeah that's i think the wrong way to do it like you you're not born jacked or you don't go to the gym and lift once so you need to build a routine and let me show you the routine i have built to get there and it starts here and um, i was kind of burnt out by working on the graphic novel and it was too much work i was putting too much into the story the drawings um fitting it all together building chapters like chapter one um when everything is set up then number two the tension then number three and then number four the climax it was a huge thing and i wasn't prepared for it yet so at a certain point around the um, 19th january uh, of 2014 i i don't know the inspiration came to me to make something on facebook and call it as you can see this is my old laptop and this is my uh, i don't know not yet my tablet and then it's oh hey my name is dario as you can see this is drawn very very simple and this is my everyday one page comic and you can choose what happens um leave a comment down below and the comment with the most likes uh gets to be tomorrow's issue of the one page comic well, it's pretty simple um but again let's look at this it's just one color it's a blue i guess i was inspired by daniel warren johnson's um space mullet it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten panels um this is digitally drawn with my vacuum graphire so um i will show you did i have layouts for this we will check it out so daily scans as you can see issue one this is my scans so before i started to uh, make it on on the screen as you can see the format is for the screen it's for facebook 
and it's for digital so the end format and the starting format are not the same but it's this is the inspiration it's like me it's like putting down a pen then drawing myself with a pen introducing myself um i think i stole this idea from um scott mcleod's understanding comics because scott mcleod does the same and then every day one page and beautifully like um i'm mixing up the panels as you can see like one page i'm i'm holding up my hand and you can choose and um the finger points towards the the reader i have a big pencil leave a comment down below um you have to like and comment a thing that's on facebook and then i guess these are ideas and this is then how it looks and it's really simple but what you have here is a very important lesson um you had an idea you or me um i layouted it then i scanned it and then i did it uh, digitally with photoshop or whatever i had at my hands and as you can see not my best drawings but also not my worst and you have successfully had an idea number one number two put it on paper number three acted on that idea number four started and finished it and number five you published it uh, and that's very important and the people responded very well and this was then the comic for the next day and it was about bananas and a key and here's aldi and uh, a woman and this guy has a key and as you can see here there's a panel border here's no panel border and then this guy i don't know sees that woman i don't know what's going on but yeah and let me see if i had for this issue um yeah i don't know what the idea was like something with a key and her older woman and she gets stuck somewhere well this is like as you can see this are my layouts pretty rough pretty basic um and then i'm starting to drawing this and then uh this older lady gets stuck somewhere and a train is approaching and this is cool because it's a silhouette and i kind of started to draw a cityscape and this guy is running and is grabbing the grandmother i don't know what's up with the with the key i don't understand well then then she says uh, get away from me and he loses the keys and the keys lie there on the trails and this is inside the train and then he screams no and then he grabs the key and the old lady gets run over and he has the key well i don't know really what's going on in this story but rest assured i drew a page at the best of my abilities on that day and that's enough and the next day i drew this and this is now in the style of sin city and it's in german and it says uh, he was uh, he was a butcher and as you can see beautiful like um created a bit of depth uh, and very economic like um black and white let's check out the um, let's check out well four pages of uh layouts as you can see these are my layouts and these are my rough layouts so before i start with a story uh, digitally i do the layouts and as you can see pretty bloody pretty gory um on this page everything i want to put down like my brain is working my hand is working i'm putting the page on the paper and um yeah kind of thinking what will i do and then this is the final product like a strange story a wife just the wife kisses him and he sees this beautiful young lady selling in his store and they connect 
and uh, it's a kind of romance and then there's they sell sausages and it's a white sausage and then at night they have an affair and i think this is very sin city-esque um that's where they do it together um and then his wife finds out and then yeah i guess some gruesome scenes uh, and then they make a black sausage and then they get old and then that's it <laughs> yeah and then the next day somebody had something with a banana and a pig and um let me see where are we um uh, banana and this is every this is all i did i had a spider a spider pig a banana uh, a mexican wrestler um and a scarface banana and this is what i did then so this is the one page one two three four five six seven eight nine ten elf twelve uh, okay so a bunch of panels and as you can see now i'm adding color but at the same time i'm getting much simpler i'm i'm having fun and that's an important part because now now i'm having fun as you can see a bunch of vatos and then the banana says so we meet again senor boink and this wrestler shows up and the scarface banana lights his cigarette look who's here and then we have uh, this uh, pig and he screams esmeralda and i'm really having fun with i don't know what what i was looking at but this is like really um tons of fun like the colors um as you can see the lines are not super super clean but just just fun and then the, the spider pig screams oink and the scarface banana licks his knife and then he says let's do this um, yeah and then they kind of fight this uh, senior boink swings with his hand the scarface banana flips to the side and then he grabs him and holds him oh here i missed a a, a a yellow spot right here can you see this this is a coloring mistake and here i didn't close the line but yeah that's a different story for a different day and then shh, don't fight it and then uh senior boink grabs the banana and i don't know what this panel means but yeah he kind of sculpts the banana and then he kisses the pig and the end do i need to explain explain more like this is this is what this will do this will build your confidence you will learn different things about yourself and then i had something about uh psycho dad and somebody wanted me to draw uh, psycho dad and song and it's from the show uh, married with children and so uh, they sing who's that this is the page and again again a different very different style as you can see only i would say three colors this orange this uh, yellowish brown and the black the white okay F four colors okay and then who's that riding in the sun and as you can see the drawings are not perfect but i'm sculpting somehow um the sunset who's that riding in the sun uh, writing it then we see um a guy who wants to draw his gun this is just all um i'm i'm i'm, I'm grabbing my pen and i'm just trying to make out silhouettes but i'm creating space as you can see um very closed in and then the stranger in the back with his guns ready who's that with the itchy gun who's that guy who kills for fun and then we have here this psycho dad with his pretty sick face laughing and here's the guy who died and uh, the floor and the back and pretty cool style and then who's the tall stranger there and yeah 
it's possible to draw in this style as you can see it's pretty it's pretty rough but also it looks kind of great who's the one uh, with a gun and icy stare and then i don't know what what western i was copying but here just um the face and we see like the head and from this side we see the face the nose and from this side shadowy and then the white eyes and um, this style would then evolve into my four page comic which is called beard of dust and um, which would garner me some attention from um, storyboard or movie uh, companies but i declined because probably i'm an idiot <laughs> or because um, i watched too much zohan and i didn't I, I wanted to make comics not storyboards and yeah the one with the scalp of his ex-wife's hair and here a horse and maybe the scalp and yeah um i think it, if you look at this it looks pretty good like if you zoom in maybe it doesn't look that good but again a different style and this is how you can do it and then from that um it, i was i was drawing all, all the week and that's when i'm when i kind of started to to lose taste in drawing every thing something else um and it took me just a week to to go like uh, from from this I, I was watching Korgoth the Barbarian an adult swim show and it was like a dream scene somebody has to piss but he can't wake up and I thought okay um, I want to do a, a story out of this like it's it's uh, I was uh, I, I, I was for a week a dancing monkey and then after that week um i kind of regained my sense of self again not a good panel but um yeah i was back to fun this is 2014 my first pages of barbarian adventure and here this is uh, not colored this is just like black and white and i assure you i have uh, layouts for this and i was heavily looking at other stuff and just trying to figuring out how to tell a story and yeah and from this point on um i left the one page comic and i went on and started four page comics um as you can see it here like uh, sleeping with fishes is like a four page comic we will take a look uh at this in the next video but it was like four pages and i was looking can i do a, a series out of this but then i lost interest and i picked up the next one and then i did eight, eight pages and this story i finished and but i will tell you in the next video i'm just showing off and so from the one pages i got to the four pages to the eight pages and then from there i developed and ultimately uh diablero my best eight pages the last pickup artist my best 22 pages and barbarian adventure then started um as my um how do you say web comic and gained viewership and a cool audience and people loved it liked it this kept me running and as you can see um i i guess this panel i came back and re redrew this panel so some of the panels are redrawn um and yeah i was watching rick at morty at that time and yeah that's the video for today and we see us